are most welcome to this year's conf uh, concert. My name is Teacher Florence, and as you can see, people are in statue mode, but you're welcome. We thank you for logging on, and we pray that we will have a good day. We do not know who will win. Who is going to win? Yeah, that's the level of commitment. So just as we decide who will win, let us go for our first presentation. Yeah. 
story. God put a covering of air around earth. On the first day of creation, God created light and called it day. On the second day of creation, God created the blue sky. Do you know why the sky is in bright blue in color? On day two of creation, God put a covering of air around earth. Earth still has this covering, and when the burning sun shines through this covering, the earth looks bright blue. High above the sky, it is not as blue because there is not as much air high up. The air in the current around Earth is what makes the sky look blue. Also, if Earth didn't have its covering of air, the heat from the sun would burn everything up. Nothing could live. People and plants would die. The great heat from the sun would burn everything up. People and animals need air to breathe. Plants need air to grow. God gave us a covering of air so that all things could live. God gave a covering of air so that the, the great heat from the sun would not burn everything up. We praise God that he made the good clear air we live.
the round earth. The earth is round like a big ball. The round earth has water on it. It has rocks and dirt on it too. The rocks and dirt are called land. The earth only goes around and around. It goes around like a top. God made the earth with water, rocks and dirt. This round earth is the home of people. Many, many people live on this earth. These people are white, black, red, yellow, or brown. God loves all the people on the earth. Good morning, parents. My name is Jethro Chitima and I'm going to read for you John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have a eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world, to condemn the world, but it ordered that the world might be saved through him.
And my food is in, in my two can bins, and my toy is in, in blocks. My name is Jemaya Big Hamanya. I go play a good shepherd. My food dry at meal.
this is a young class. My name is Haniel Anyakato. And this is Stanley Central. My name is Isaac Tisaus Water. My name is Gabriel Anyakoma. My name is Kyla Brenner. My name is Elisa Bethel. My name is Elisa My name is Alicia Bukama. My name is Ryan Mohiro.
spell is a man in the Bible. Um, this is our next part of the of the class for the production uh, for Zara class two, and I'm going to present for you two items. It has been an amazing day, so we have two items that we're going to present to you. That is a skit and a dance. But first, we shall have our skit. A skit coming from the book of First Kings. Chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. So in the Bible, there was a man called Solomon, a very good man that loved God and feared God so much. So one day he built God a beautiful temple full of many colors. And Solomon, while building the temple, he put his last bits on the temple. So he put the last bits on the temple with his friend. Uh -huh. On top, they put the bits on top of the temple. Uh -huh. And then in that temple there was a beautiful priest that used to watch in the temple. And the temple was so uh so me? Sit in the temple chair. Huh? Yes, there was a beautiful temple, and there was a priest in that temple. So as Solomon, after giving him to the temple, he went and had, and he was thinking about the beautiful temple that he had built for. So Solomon brought beautiful things to the temple of God. Solomon took beautiful things to the temple of God and offered a lot of nice things to the temple of God. He put in the temple of God, good. That is Solomon offering to God. Okay. After offering to God, and there was a blessing upon Solomon. Mm -hmm. A blessing was placed upon Solomon. Uh -huh. Yes, priest. After Solomon offering in the house of the Lord, he was really exhausted. He went and retired in his house, in his beautiful chamber. He rested in his house. He rested in his beautiful chambers where he lived with his children. So as he was sleeping, someone special visited him that night. Guess who children? Guess who it was? It was someone who is special to us. Some, that someone special person is called God. Solomon, Solomon, Solomon. Just please God. I shall give you my son Solomon. It's not my son. Think about that. Finish your day. 
Субтитры сделал 